Hi, this is Nikaraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with VR units inside of Final Cut Pro 10. The immersive 360 VR video market continues to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video and affordable new 360 cameras coming to market regularly, including the new introduction of 180 degree cameras, which allows you to capture half of the sphere without all of the data and media that go along with it. And while video editors such as Adobe and Final Cut have some of these built-in tools, there are currently no cross-host tools to enable sharing between editing, effects, and color correction finishing stages, i.e. if I'm an editor working in Final Cut and I happen to be working with a collaborator who is going to finish in DaVinci Resolve, how can I efficiently bring some of my 360 spherical effects over to Resolve to finalize the job? Let's take a look at what VR units are, what they have to offer to us video editors inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Currently, I have a 360 VR project open up. Uh, I have a few 360 clips in here. And if I were to look at these 360 clips, which I know that are 360 because of the badges on the upper left-hand corner of the clip, I could simply head to my view menu and take a look at my 360 viewer. The great thing about the 360 viewer is I can mimic a field of view of how someone's gonna look at my footage in a VR headset or on a social media platform, as well as turn on a very basic overlay for the viewing angle that I'm currently taking a look at. I can apply this also by just simply moving my playhead to the second clip here in the timeline and getting a sense for how someone is going to view my 360 content. While this is set up for a variety of 360 flavors in both monostopic and stereoscopic, this tool falls short in 180 degree video. I'm going to double click another project to open it up and here's some beautiful green screen footage, but this happens to be 180 degrees stereoscopic left and right eye. If I decide to select my clip here in the timeline, right click it and choose to reveal this in the browser. If I select the clip and go to the info inspector in Final Cut, I can see that I do have the option to change its projection mode. In fact, Final Cut does not see this as a 360 clip, but I could identify this as echo rectangular and then choose from a stereoscopic mode. But look, that all the projection modes are gonna be 360 degrees and not 180. In fact, if this was true 180, I would be able to see that there was black behind each of these eyes or that half of the sphere was not recorded at all. How do I get around this? One way is to use BCC VR units. I'm gonna close down my 360 viewer and from my BCC VR category, I'm gonna select the BCC reorient tool very similar to the Reorient tool in Final Cut that's built into 360 projects that you work in, this Reorient tool also allows us to change how we're viewing our scene and what we want our viewers to first look at on either social media or in a VR headset. I can see that there are a variety of tools for the Reorient tool, including the import format, which we're going to set to stereo left to right. We're going to choose now 180 degrees, which was not an option available in the Info Inspector, and make sure our output format is set to the same. If I choose to, one of the controls under view mode allows me to preview this 180 footage. And if I start to pan around my scene, I can see that in fact, what's behind this green screen setup is indeed black in this case, because we only recorded 180 degrees of the sphere or what the majority of someone looks at when they're viewing 360 content on the web. I'm gonna press Command Z to undo that. I'm gonna head back to my previous project here. And here I just simply wanna cut from this shot to this shot. It would be great for me to have some overlays or align tools to see the various parts of the sphere in my shot so that I can better make a decision of exactly what I'd like the viewer to look at when we cut to the next scene. So what I'm gonna do is go to my BCC VR Reorient tool apply it to the clip. And you can see here that it's automatically seen this as a mono 360 degree clip, which is great. And very similar to the reorient tool here, I've got my tilt pan and roll controls. In addition, I've got that preview mode that we saw the last time, as well as options of seeing a picture in picture mode. So if I look here at the top left hand corner, I get a lovely little preview here inside that window. With that enabled, I also can choose to show over my existing image overlay guides. 
which will allow me to see the different parts of the sphere, as well as colors for those overlay faces, which I can control with this opacity level here. By breaking this down, I'm able to see a little bit better the footage that's behind here, but I get a really good sense for what the viewer is going to see. And if I apply this to the previous clip here in the timeline, and under the controls, turn on my overlay guides and overlay faces, making me make a more informed editing decision right inside of Final Cut. Temporarily disabling the VR reorient tool on both of my shots. While Final Cut allows us to work with 360 ready 3D extruded text, what it doesn't allow us to do is easily replicate that text around our sphere. A great example of this is if you ever take a look at the New York Times Daily 360 experiment where they filmed a video a day for 365 days. If you looked around the sphere or experienced this, they would typically have text on three sides of the sphere. In order for me to do that here in Final Cut with my 360 text, I would have to duplicate it multiple times and move it inside of 360 space. By using the BCC VR units tool, we can easily accomplish this with one effect. So I'm going to apply the BCCR VR insert tool. I'm going to, under my video inspector, go to my VR insert and click this little image well to skim to my basic 3D text and apply that as what I'd like to insert into my scene. You could do something similar with this with a flat graphic. And if I turn off the clip above, we can change the insert latitude, longitude, distance, as well as the orientation in our scene, making a slight longitude adjustment. I've changed this text to appear at the top of the sphere. And very similar to my VR reorient tool, keep in mind that we do have view mode controls to preview how this is gonna look on final output. And under my preview controls here, decide to move across my scene to the left, as well as be able to preview to see that my text falls right above me. If I turn off my preview mode, I can go back into my full mode. I'm going to reset the longitude and latitude of my text by clicking on the hooked arrows next to each of those parameters. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna take the scale of my text and make that a little bit bigger to a value of two so we can see that a bit better. And I really don't know where someone is going to be in my 360 experience when they're viewing this online. So I'm gonna replicate this text using the VR insert, really easy to do by going to the insert repeat value and choosing to replicate this text. Let's choose four sides in this particular case. We can see the result here where we have a replication of our text several times across the sphere. We could also choose to do this front plus one third the size and now we have it replicated three times, very similar to the New York Times daily 360 videos where they took all the guessing out of where someone was looking in the sphere and just had text in multiple areas in order to convey their message. Keep in mind, this could also be applied to stereoscopic footage as well as 180 footage. So this VR insert is versatile for all types of 360 content. No matter what your 360 workflow in Final Cut Pro 10, the BCC VR units can definitely help expand that for your narrative storytelling. Check out Boris Effects on all social media platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Nick Ross from Creative 111. Thanks for watching.